Minasa konnichiwa, this is David, and um, this afternoon I am doing a quick unboxing of the Premium Bandai RG144 um, expansion effect unit for the um, the Wing Gundam Zero Endless Waltz. We it are just... not filming in black and white. No, no, no. This is a Premium <laughs> Bandai, so it's, it's only going to come in a monochrome um box just like um any any of the others that you get mm. um they don't do colored boxes um but it is a lovely box like yeah. it, feathers everywhere. yeah and if if you haven't seen this thing so far this is what it looks like um it basically adds feathers as a base for the wing zero um to give it a dramatic effect um or reminiscent to make it look like it just won a purple fight yeah yeah well, it's, uh, it's reminiscent to the end of Endless Waltz, um, if you're familiar with the movie. So here we have the base. Mm -hmm. uh, all about the base. Um, and it's full of these holes. I guess it's uh, customizable. You can put those feathers wherever you'd like. Mm -hmm. um, and it has a little bracket for the um, plate effect that goes there. Mm -hmm. And we have feathers. Oh, they're yeah, yeah, they're pearlescent, pearlescent, translucent. And yeah, they got a lot of shimmer to them. Um, the pearl effect is really subtle, but lovely. In person, there's even a little suggestion of like pink or purple. Yeah. Very faint, like an opal. Yeah. But it's, it's not coming up on camera. But it's it's vaguely there from some angles in person. I think you might be able to see a little bit of it in some mm. of the angles here. But it's it's pretty. Yeah. They're great. I'd love a nail polish in that. And then here we have um, the pieces that hold them. Yep. Um, feel actually pretty stable, sturdy. That's nice. And then our stand... Um, this looks a lot like um, some of the action bases or maybe like the MG um, Strike Freedoms base. Mm. Um, and it has plenty of adjustment, so you can put it at pretty much any angle. Um, that's great. This is an ABS kit or piece, so it's nice and hard plastic. Mm -hmm. um, and that tells me, oh, yep, that I'm correct, that um, there are screws. Mm. Um, so this will be really, really stable once mm. it's up. That's great because the Wing Zero is... Such an awkward kit, like the balance is just really strange on it. So. Because it's a spaceship. Because it's got giant angel wings. <laughs> okay, that too. Um, and that black is more like a smoky, a real dark smoky gray. Right? Yeah. Kind of black black. It is. Um, it is trans or transparent or translucent. It's. Uh, mm. It's. You can see through it a little bit. It is nice and soft. Uh, we do have a couple of screws in here and a couple of nuts here. Um, <laughs> and also in the bag. So, so you'll um, you'll need those to um, do that, and that's just your standard eyeglasses, um, screwdriver, Phillips head, mm. and then we have clear thing. This, yeah, clear thing. That's to keep this clean. <laughs> um, this. This is the placard. It's like a postcard, basically. Mm. Um, and it's got the um, call sign on it, the 00W0, Wings mm. Zero Endless Waltz Edition. Mm. And then I've got this really pretty um, wing, or sorry, feather effect. Okay, and that goes in the base onto the plastic thing. Yeah, it'll just go straight into the base. Um, basically like so. Mm. And then there's the plastic. And then there's going to be this clear plastic piece that's going to add a sheen and protective layer to it. Mm, um, so this is a real nice like archival piece. This is a really beautiful stand. I like it a lot. Um, super simple to put together, of course. Obviously. I mean, it's a stand. It's not <laughs> supposed to be complicated. It would be really upsetting if it were. Yeah. But that's the final. That's what it ends up looking like. Mm. 
Um, and we'll be doing a review of this as soon as I put together, probably yes. tonight. Yes. I'm, I'm very excited for this one. Now, is this something people can get? No. Okay. I'm um, sorry. There, there might be ways, like you might be able to get one by eBay. Um, you might be able to get one through like Hobby Link or something right now. But this was a limited edition premium Bandai release. Um, you had to pre-order it um, back in November, December. Mm. Um, so they might have some of them left. I don't know. Um, but other than that, no, this is this is an exclusive. So not not something you can just pick up. Mm. Um, but it is wonderful if you can get a hold of it. And um, I can't wait to do the review of it. Mm. So matane, everyone. Matane.